In this video, I want to show you how the Inovia V6 SOLIDWORKS integration works inside of SOLIDWORKS. Now where you're going to find the Inovia information is in the task pane. There's a special tab there for Inovia, and when you hit that tab, it will open up and show you the status of the parts in the session. You can see gray circles with an equal sign. That means it's equal to what's in Inovia. If you see something that's red, that means it's out of date. Now you can perform operations inside of this menu, like check out and check in, launch into Novia. You can look at the card just so you can change properties or interact uh, with this tree so you can see the preview down below. Now if you do see a red circle, that means it's out of date, which means that somebody has modified the file since you last opened it into your SOLIDWORKS session. And you can easily just click get latest version and it will update the part right inside the SOLIDWORKS session. So what this does is allow you and others to collaborate on the same assembly. And so you can work on various parts of that assembly and then bring those right in when you're ready. It shows us our assembly is edited so we can simply do a SOLIDWORKS save and it will save that to our local PC and change the status to indicate that it's ready to go back into the Inovia system. Now we can check in from a right mouse click right on the assembly or we can just click in the task pane and it will bring up the check-in screen with all the parent-child information for this particular assembly. From here we can type in some comments that will go into the history and it will be uploaded into the Inovia system and ready for release. From here, if we'd like to perform other operations, we can, or if we'd like to open up the Inovia web client, we can simply click on the Explore in Inovia button.